What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Music Industry Contact YouTube channel. I am Patrick Cook, award-winning songwriter and producer and mentor and member of the Billboard 500 Club. That's Adam's private mentorship. I highly recommend going to check it out. More about that at the end of the video. Today, we are going to be breaking down and analyzing Act Moves, How People Move. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out our Patreon um, channel. Uh, it is the Patreon Golden Ear community where there's lots more exclusive content. We can't monetize the videos here on YouTube, so please, if you want to support us, go check that out. Without further ado, let's get into the song, Act Moves, How People Move. Okay, let's stop it right there. So much going on right out of the gate. So we want to we want to analyze this. So first, it starts with this beautiful horn, brass horn arpeggio that's stacking on top of each other. If you listen once again, it's doing uh, panning. It's starting each side of the ear. Listen, going back and forth, and then we're straight into it. We're straight into it. So this is the chorus. This is a song that starts with the chorus. Obviously, they want you to be up and moving. They want you engaged right out of the gate. They're not messing around with any intro or anything. This is a dance song, and they're telling you right off the bat that you want. they want you moving. The challenge, and we'll see how they go with this, the challenge with starting with the chorus is keeping attention and keeping the energy up for the entire song. So we'll see what they do to, to accomplish that. So it starts with the chorus, and there's already lots going on. Uh, there's a great groove. It's got this bopping feel. You can hear the bass line is on the offbeat so it's giving this like sort of pumping feel they've got this nice brass horn hook going on and then at the end of the chorus there's two power threes you're going to hear it one with the band is going ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. and then there's a little toy piano on the side listen to this power three right there now listen end of the chorus Background vocals, power three. Into the verse. Let's go back and listen to that little toy piano on the side. Listen to this. This is so cool. It's so tasty. All right, so we're into the verse. Still grooving. We got the call and response vocal. So you got the lead vocal straight up the uh, up the middle in the panning spectrum, and then you have these beautiful um, background vocals doing a call and response thing, and little tasty. You can hear a little tasty guitar in the background. <laughs> Feels like a free chorus section. Back to the chorus. All right, this song has a really interesting form, like the structure and how it's, how it's laid out. They start with this horn arpeggio, they go straight into the chorus, and then they have a verse section with call and response, lots of information going on that's keeping your attention. Um, and then they have this 
sort of strange pre-chorus thing with it has actually two sections in it. Let's go back and listen to that again. But I want you to listen to there's two animal noises in this section. I think one's like a, a hawk or a phoenix or something, and the other one is an elephant. See if you can pick those out. <laughs> A little different energy. The the chorus and the verses are like these bouncy up and down. This one's got like a bit, bit of a swing. So to give you, it keeps you in the the dancing mood, but it gives you a little a different feel. To the chorus. Did you hear the the elephant and the phoenix? Let's see if you can pick it up. Back to the chorus. Vocal stack harmony there. So kind of like the horn intro did, that was foreshadowing these vocal stacks. They're going to do these harmony vocal stacks that they're going to do uh, as transition elements in between. It's like, Check it out. to the chorus with those Let's just go back and listen to that section one more time. This chorus has a lot more information, so they're building the choruses as they go. As I said at the beginning, starting with the chorus is a challenge because you have to keep building, and they're doing it in an interesting way. So let's listen to this chorus, how it's different than the first one. They're adding little nice guitar. They're adding some uh, more vocals in the background. Just have a listen. The horn. Guitar. Power three. Lip, guitar, nice background, lush vocals on the sides, and end with that power three just to ram it home. All right, so here we have this sort of instrumental section, solo section, and another hook that we haven't heard before with power threes all over it. Now we're into a breakdown bridge. This song is really interesting with the form. It's not traditional by any uh, standard. So, um, like I said at the beginning, it's going to be interesting how they keep energy and, and attention, and they're doing it in a, in a strange but effective way. So, after this course, we have this strange it's kind of like an instrumental solo section and then it's got another like a b hook at the end of it that sort of reinforces the title but it's different than anything we've heard before so let's just go back and have a listen to that so uh, you'll notice this song has a lot of like it's like kind of jazzy k-pop's really good at this it's like infusing these old uh, genres into a new format right so you've got this sort of jazzy piano you've got the horn you've got the piano uh, the the like the sort of groovy bouncy rhythm this is all sort of like jazzy blues and even the chord progression is doing the one the four and the five even the turnaround is the five to the four which is classic blues turnaround, right? So they're taking this old genre, these old motifs and infusing them into this new sort of young, bouncy, uh, hip um, vibe. So really interesting what they're doing. 
Should we dance? Dance! Got this old school jazzy horn, the piano. That little vocal hook. Power threes all over it. Okay, so breakdown just keeps the groove going. So the breakdown is like this rap section. It keeps the groove going, keeps you dancing with that sort of uh, the nice drum beat. And then halfway through, they bring in the kick just to add another element, some more sonic information to keep you going, to keep you interested, to keep you dancing. There's the kick. Nice slap echo on the voice to give it some breath. Back to sort of the, the swing pre-chorus. There's the elephant in the phoenix again. Okay. <laughs> okay wow okay this is totally this is awesome so we've got this section that the pre-chorus section that they end with a totally different new section this is like like a vocal stacking harmony kind of like broadway theater feel where they're just like it's triumphant and then they go into the breakdown chorus and then they jump into another key. They go up by a whole tone. So it's a key change for this last chorus. I'm assuming it's gonna be the last chorus. Who knows, this song is all over the place. Um, but wow, okay, so there's a lot of new information and that's again, to keep your attention. They start with the chorus, they gotta keep building, they gotta keep doing new things to keep your attention, keep you dancing, and they're doing it very effectively. Um, listen again, we're gonna listen to that pre-chorus with the Broadway ending. Listen for the, the elephant in the phoenix they they bring it back here Here's the bridge. Kind of nursery rhyme this part there's the phoenix and the elephant broadway musical Oh, that immediately brings the energy up again. All right. New elements in the chorus. Another hook. Back to the instrumental solo part. With the nice different elements, guitar. Okay, and then this beautiful diva run ending. Wow, okay, so a lot going on in the song. Let's let's just look at the form, how they structure this song. It's really interesting. So they start with that horn arpeggio, which is um, sort of foreshadowing the vocal stacks they're gonna do later. And then they have straight into the chorus, and then they have verse one, the only verse in the song, actually, now that I think about it, there isn't a second verse. We don't go back to the verse ever. So we got chorus, we got verse, we got pre-chorus, which is really two sections in that pre-chorus. Um, and then they go back to the chorus, and then we ha they have this sort of, solo instrumental section with another hook at the end of it that we haven't heard before, which is kind of odd, but it, it works. And then they go into this breakdown bridge with the uh, you know, the breakbeat and the rap with the slap vocal or slap um, echo on it. Uh, and then they go back into the pre-chorus, but that this time the pre-chorus has this Broadway musical big finale uh, finishing vocal stack harmony thing on it, which is awesome, but totally out of place, but it still works. Um, and then what do they do? They go back into the key change chorus. Like, okay, so we said at the beginning, how are they gonna keep the energy? They're doing it in very creative ways. Um, and it really works, it really works. So the key change chorus, and then we have this, um, this strange instrumental B section, I don't even know what to call it, um, that has another hook at the end, and then it just ends with this beautiful diva run, and it's just okay. So really what they've done here is 
you know, it's a it's a dance song. It's called How People Move. They want to keep you engaged. They want to keep you moving. And they came up with very, very creative ways to do it from, you know, switching up the instruments to doing vocal stacks, to doing powers of three, to doing breakdown sections. But it never loses the groove. And that's the whole point of a song like this. They want to keep you engaged and keep you dancing. Wow, that was super fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had a good time. Uh, in my opinion, it's a fun song. Uh, there's not a lot of depth to it, to be honest. I don't I don't know what the lyrics are saying, so that might have something to do with it, but I'm assuming it's about people moving and dancing and stuff. Pretty simple. Um, but I have to say the creativity and how they kept your attention, how they kept changing it up, how they introduced new elements, how they did vocal stacks, how they, it's, it's layered with powers of three all over the place. Um, beautiful background vocals. They've got ad libs and chants. They've got breakdown energy. Um, they've got this little rap section. It's like a whole mishmash and then it's all infused with this sort of old school jazzy dixieland new orleans ja uh, blues vibe to it uh that gives us sort of like this familiar feeling but it's it's kind of a new a new vibe overall so really a fun song um you know again not a lot of depth to it so it's not really my style but i have to admire what they've done with it uh really impressive to keep your energy for an entire what is it three minutes and 22 seconds it kept my attention and i gotta say my two favorite parts with a little toy piano doodle -ding, doodle -ding, doodle -ding, and the phoenix and the elephant <laughs> because those are hilarious uh i hope you guys heard that okay this has been super fun again my name is patrick cook you can check me out on instagram at patrick cook life where i share lots of tips and tricks and insight into music creativity and personal development. Um, again, if you are an aspiring musician, songwriter, or producer, um, anybody who want, is serious about having a career in music, I highly recommend checking out the Billboard 500 Club. There is so much talent and networking and um, resources and mentorship in that club. Also, there's courses online, which I've taken Adam's courses about uh, producer breakdowns, songwriter breakdowns. Please go check those out. If you like these types of video, he goes way more in depth into uh, an artist's entire catalog and breaks down what each of these amazing, you know, world-class artists are doing in their music so you can use the same tools, techniques, and formulas in your music to be a hit songwriter or producer. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you so much again, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe we'll see you in the Billboard 500 Club, and have a great day. Cheers. Give me some of that power.